Hey guys, welcome back to SKM Outdoors, and today we're going to be tracking raccoons. I'm just going to show you the basics on how to track them, and the difference between them and like coyotes, or different animals, and how to identify them easily. Um, we got the Jack here is going to be helping us What's out. Up? He He's a tracking expert we got um, from like Microsoft, and um, we're going to be just, I'm I'm trying to be serious in this video, my bad. But um, I'm going to be showing you the tracks of the raccoon, and like how to figure out where they're going, how to understand them better for hunting and trapping, and where you can find them. Alright guys, so earlier this week, I found this kind of drain right here, and I noticed it's kind of a hot spot for all the animals to come to. We got little possums right here, but we got raccoons, and we got some coyotes I'll show you at the end, um, but I'm going to show you kind of how I tell where they're going, what they're doing, and you can kind of record their activity with trail cameras. I'll make a video on that soon. And I'll tell you where they're going and what they're doing in this area. Alright guys, first off, about 15 feet away from the drain. This print right here. So, you know, like, their hands are built like humans. Not really. They're just really small. And if you notice that, they have little claws, though. That's the same. But their basically hands are just like little humans. You can see just like right there. But their feet are a lot different. They have bigger claws. They're more noticeable and they're deeper in the ground. They're not just like a little handprint you make. I can't see that. But the point is, that looks like a hand, right? And it's kind of deep. It's obviously not small like a possum. And if you know the animals in your area, this should be very easy to recognize. And it's just a telltale, telltale say, sign, sign of what a raccoon hand and what they do. So that right there is a hand, and I'll show you more the like the complex of the tracks and how they move on. All right, guys. As you can see, I slip down this slope to get the rear view, like the leg print of a raccoon right here. So we got like it's a lot bigger and it's more. It's not as structured like a human. They have more like a the back of the foot. It sticks stands out more, and it has more claws you can see, and it just looks more rough and more, you know, rugged than their handprint. So that's the feet of a raccoon right there. Alright guys, so this would be kind of the perfect area to put a trail cam. But these tracks are very fresh. You can see this trail goes right around. I don't know if you can see it. It's very shady under there. But they move right under this drain. So it probably is like it's nesting or living down there. It's probably, it probably has water. If that thing would quiet down for five seconds, Maybe I could talk, but um, that's pretty much where it lives right there. So this is just an easy, not like one of those big videos. It's just like a lot of talking and not a lot of showing. I'm just going out to the creek and kind of showing you what I've deserved over time and how I find raccoons and how to, you know, trap them, catch them on camera. For any of your needs, this is a raccoon track right here. And thank you guys for watching Yes Came Outdoors. Please subscribe and hit that like button. Um, bye. And the coyote track right here. This is a coyote. Oh, bye.